Once every 10 years or so, cities make a thoroughfare plan highlighting the community's needs for the future. Our Kelsey Anderson is joining us live this morning with why Greenfield's plan has some residents there really concerned. Kelsey, good morning. Hey, good morning. So on Greenfield's 2020 throw plan, there are more than 160 items, but one of those items have residents very concerned, and it's this right here. You see this tape. They, the city is wanting to put a road from this piece of tape all the way over to this side. That's 65 feet of road right here, running through the middle of a neighborhood, and as you can see, just feet away from someone's front door. One of the reasons we love living here is we can sit on our back decks uh, we can see Brandywine Creek flow through our backyard. Sandy Miller has lived in the Walnut Ridge neighborhood for 27 years. Now her and her neighbors are concerned about a proposed road extension on the city's 2020 thoroughfare plan. The 84th item on the plan is calling for the potential of extending McLaren Drive, which would mean a thoroughfare running through their neighborhood and then over Brandywine Creek. This house, this house, and one of the houses in the front is completely cut off from our neighborhood. So they get cut off from the neighborhood and the beautiful neighborhood that we've built over the last 30 years is we think essentially destroyed. But this isn't the first time these neighbors have fought this fight. This road extension was on the last thoroughfare plan. Yes, the last time was 12 years ago in uh, 2008. And we, many of us here were part of that. Um, we met with the Planning Commission, we met with the City Council, and after due consideration for all of the same issues that we're going to talk about today, they took it out of the plan. Honestly, we thought it was out of the plan forever, so we were quite surprised last month to learn that we were going to fight this fight again. We still think it's a viable project. We think, think it's needed, uh, so we're, we've put it back on. Jason Couch is the city engineer for Greenfield. He tells me there are more than 160 items on the plan and no immediate plans for this extension. There's no funding for this at this point. There's no studies that have been done for the environmental impacts. Uh, really, it's just a line on a paper right now. But Miller says they think there are other better options and they want to see this extension off the plan for good. For whatever little benefit the city might get from that, the cost is simply too high, not just in terms of money, but in terms of safety, in terms of our neighborhood, in terms of drainage and flooding. Now, Cook tells me they really only have the budget over the next 10 years for the first 20 items on that thoroughfare plan, but the residents here say they want to see that idea for this McLaren, and ex the McLaren extension put to bed for good. Reporting live, Kelsey Anderson, RTV6.